Okay, so now we're ready to get into Python and start to learn uh, some of the ways that we can use it. So like I mentioned before, Python at the core is a programming language that so doesn't require any software on its own. It can run directly from your command prompt. So you can launch Python just by typing it in. And already you can start inputting Python commands. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. Uh, and you can start doing other things like declaring variables, set a to 5, set b to 10, and then you can ask Python what's a plus b. I'll give you 15. So that's the basic way to use Python, but it's not very uh, easy because you kind of have to do it line by line. So with as with most languages, Python can use uh, different IDEs or uh, integrated development environments. And there's a lot of options for Python. Some of them have sort of functionalities built in to make writing and uh, error checking code easier. Python distribution comes with an IDE that's very basic, but it will work for uh, our purposes in this class. And you can find that IDE uh, if you go to your Python folder. It's called idle here. So if you go to Python 2.7, idle Python GUI. And if you launch that, it'll basically bring up this interface, which looks very similar um, to the command prompt. It just basically has the version of Python, and you can start uh, typing in your commands directly in here. The cool thing about idle, or any of these IDEs, is it also has support for writing scripts and then executing those scripts in the Python environment. To create a new script file, you just go to File, New Window, and it'll give you a new text editing window. So this is uh, works pretty much just like a normal text editor, except it uh, supports highlighting for Python commands, so it makes it easier. Any keywords, like for, if, uh, import, uh, it'll highlight. And then it also has other kind of um, context-based highlighting, which makes it easier to structure the code. It also has, um, it also supports automatic indenting to structure your code visually. And it also includes um, integration with the Python uh, idle environment. So once you write a piece of code, you can go up to run and run the module. Once you've written a piece of code, say we want to calculate the same 2 plus 4, you can save this as a script. So go to save as. And here we'll just save it on desktop. And we'll just call this test. And in order to have it process, um, the file as a Python file, you just have to add the .py to the end instead of something like .txt. So once you save this, it's saved here, and you can run a module, you can just hit F5, and it'll basically take this script and execute the whole script in order within your environment. So here, nothing happens. So the difference between running a script and running code uh, right here is if you run code in the shell, it'll automatically print your results, which won't happen automatically in the script. In order to print things from a script to the to idle, we just use the print command. So this is your first basic Python command. And once you run this, uh, when you run, it'll automatically ask you to save your work. Now it's going to do that computation and then automatically print the result. So when you save a, a Py file, um, it's nothing really special, so you can see the Python file here. Because you added .py, it'll know that it's a Python file. So if you right-click on it now, it'll give you options like edit with idle. Uh, so that'll basically pull it up in your in your idle environment. But at the base, it's still a text file, so you can also open it with other programs. Notepad, and try to open that file. It'll come up here. So you can actually edit scripts just in notepad but like I said before it's easier to do in idle because one it highlights any special commands it does error checking for you and you can run things directly from there